Hello my friends, this is Mr. Max Bliss in the southwest of France uh, just after 6 o'clock on the 10th of October 2015 Today the sky looks as bad as it's ever been This is absolutely appalling and if anyone ever should have any doubts whether or not this could possibly be affecting our climate. Just have a look, it's blanketed. This morning was a beautiful cloudless blue sky, absolutely beautiful. In fact, when I first got up this morning, it was still dark and I could see all the stars. Well, you know, all the stars that were available. It was crystal clear and beautiful absolutely stunning and the morning was beautiful it was pretty fresh but it started to warm up and it's turned out to be quite a nice warm day the sky was absolutely clear blue and then the trails began and at first there were short dissipating trails and then the trails got longer and longer then they persisted and the day has gone on we see these frequency effects, this turbulence, these uh, different things going on in the skies that we just did not see years ago. Not because we weren't looking, but because this now is happening on a daily basis. This is phenomenal. We did not see skies polluted, littered, with these contrails and contrail cirrus and all of different cloud formations associated with aviation, even under the busiest air corridors serving the busiest airports in the world before the late 1990s. We did not see this. So it's not just the volume of air traffic that is responsible for this hideous, hideous, obscuration of our skies it's blocking it out it's blanketing it out there are different ways that this will affect the climate these ice crystals will contribute to trapping in heat they change the polarity of the electric fields in the atmosphere and that plays a part in this covert climate weather and climate modification program. There is radiative forcing from the different types of materials such as the metal oxides that are in the atmosphere. Now for all those people out there who are screaming you're a crackpot Mr Bliss you're a nutter Sometimes what's going on in the sky certainly makes me feel like I'm going crazy because I'm amazed that people cannot see what's going on and join the dots. But I sympathise because many people have a blind trust in a lying government. It doesn't matter which government you belong to because they're all working together. Or oh, sorry, which one you're subjected to. There is no doubt whatsoever, if you begin to research into the history and the development of weather and climate modification, you will begin to realise what you are seeing in the sky is a programme in development for climate and weather modification. Am I making it all up? Am I just joining the dots? Or... Do I actually do research? Do I actually take the time to find out what's going on? Do I? Am I making it up? Am I making it up, my friends? No, I'm not making it up. I am not making it up whatsoever. My friends, we are talking about an international cooperation between governments for the sole purpose of being able to master and dominate 
the water supply of the world, the hydrological cycles under control. We're talking about changing the political system towards a one world government system, which we will have no recourse under. We will be total slaves to this dominant minority, the oligarchy. By conning the masses into believing that there's some climate threat because of anthropogenic global warming due to our friend CO2. It's just 0.0375% CO2, trace gas in the atmosphere, but it's a vital trace gas that gives life to all plants on this planet. They try to demonise it and saying it's acting as, as an insulation barrier. They're saying that the level of CO2 in the atmosphere acts like a, a, an actual layer of insulation trapping in heat. This is the mechanism they're saying CO2 is responsible for the, uh, the warming up of the planet. Well, that's a complete and preposterous pseudoscience claim. Just to think about the blanketing effect of all this water vapour and these crystals in this artificial cloud blanket. It's artificially stimulated because of the use of aeroplanes, the pollution, the deliberate additive of materials encapsulated nanoparticles into the fuel, into the exhaust plumes to form these persistent contrails and the use of electromagnetic frequencies, the management of the global electric circuit to stimulate changes, electrical changes in the atmosphere to control the weather and climate. These maniacs want one world government. They want a homogenized planet. This is their goal. And in this scenario, where they get this uh, one world government, they can force us to have uh, transhumanism, they implants into our bodies, they can force us onto something called the bioeconomy, which is going to develop a dependency on GMO foods. They can force us into a life of absolute servitude to the super state, like, like communism on steroids, like Big Brother, like the Brave New World, using scientific technology to create a dictatorship. This is the goal of the despots behind the New World Order, and all the governments are working towards this incredible goal of creating a one world empire where you can have total dominion over all of us as their slaves. And looking up at the sky, this is the trigger for me to do the research necessary to understand this isn't about being a crackpot conspiracy theorist. This is about being a critical thinker, somebody who's not going to be fooled by the wave upon wave of propaganda and indoctrination from a deceitful establishment. Because Believe me, these crazy people who are politicians and uh, these bankers, the oligarchy, the people pulling the strings, all the politicians or puppeticians, they don't give a damn about us. They loathe us. They look at us as a threat. We might want to change the system and remove these obscenely wealthy people from doing harm, such as they have done for hundreds of years. They are the ones responsible for the wars. They are responsible for all the extra toxins in our environment that's causing ecological disaster. It's not us. We didn't invent plastic. We didn't force everyone to package their food in plastic and, and all the different toxins from mines and everything else. We didn't do all that. We're just consumers. We're just the little people. We, we just get what we're given. The people responsible for this are the heads of industry, the bankers, the people who run the hedge funds. We're talking about the money people. We're talking about the oligarchy. They are the ones that are screwing up this beautiful planet. They're bringing us to the uh, precipice of catastrophe so that they can fool the masses into believing it's our fault and believe the lies about CO2, the climate chaos, and everything else that they're creating 
through the covert use of weather and climate modification so they can create their one world government this horrific vision the brave new world where we are going to have our genes manipulated where our thoughts are going to be manipulated well, of course they already are to a degree but they're going to move it on with nanotechnology and bioscience and neuroscience they are going to need to be stopped and the only people who are going to stop this is everyone waking up enough people waking up and it's happening it's happening. We're not there yet, but it's a massive shift. The criminal elites know it. They are frightened. The criminal elites are aware there is a mass awakening going on. We are not buying their BS. A lot of people realize we have been lied to for far too long. You've got your climate scientists like Ken Caldera and David Keith being given millions of dollars from the so-called philanthropist Bill Gates, who happens to be a geoengineering advocate, who happens to be a eugenicist, who wants to depopulate the planet and is an advocate for one world government. These are the crazy people with so much money is obscene and they think they can play God and decide we want to reduce the Earth's population. They've been hammering away funding think tank organisations and various different education systems to educate people to believe the nonsense that we're overpopulated. Just drive across America, drive across France, drive across Europe, drive across Australia, Africa, wherever, and then tell me it's overpopulated. It's nonsense. But who controls the media? Who gives us our thoughts? Who is framing Everything so that the cities look congested. Uh, who is behind the town planning in cities so they are more congested than they should be? You know, it's, it's, it's crazy, but, you know, it's, it's all part of the plan, the illusion to give us this feeling that we are overpopulated and our planet can't support us. It's a nonsense. Everything's been privatised to limit public access to find out about how things are running, the limitations of Freedom of Information Act because everything's been privatised. It's no longer in the public domain. It's all part of the plan to restrict our access to knowledge, to stop us from finding out the truth, to allow the oligarchy to maintain their veil of deception. However, we know that their position is tenuous. Our position only gets stronger as we gather more information as we are like a sponge we are soaking up information all the time people are sharing information that we live in the information age and people are getting educated and people are not buying the lies anymore some still are you know of course they are but there's a growing number of people who are finding out what's going on and they are sharing information this what is what makes the oligarchy's position tenuous because we are changing the paradigm just by sharing information and opening people's eyes just with verifiable information just by asking them to look up look up at the sky and look up information it's time my friends the time is now we are getting close to the united nations climate treaty it's gonna in december in uh, 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 in Paris, they are hoping that they've conned enough governments or put them under enough leverage or bribed them sufficiently that they will get their treaty, which is a major stepping stone towards one world government. I don't think it's going to happen for them. Lots of people have been putting in a hell of a lot of effort to debunk the establishment, to expose them for the fraud they were. Climate gate. You know, the, the homogenization from da of data from NOAA and from NASA, from these key institutions, they are being exposed for lying, for misrepresenting information. Because they're just tools. They're just tools, following orders, doing a job. It's time to wake up, my friends. Please keep looking up, find verifiable information and communicate with as many people as possible everybody you possibly can and badger your public representatives don't believe they're baffling with bullshit nonsense you tell them straight 
Tell them we don't believe the lies. Take care and bye for now.